Okay, it's tool time. Um, so, I've already uh, cut this open so I don't, wouldn't struggle with it on camera, but uh, it is a, a cordless screwdriver. So, my quest for a cordless screwdriver. So, uh, I got one for Christmas a few years ago that my wife bought me and used it for a while, but really didn't like it. Um, it was a quarter inch drive, it was, which, which was fine, and it was regular screwdriver shaped, which was fine, but uh, I don't know, I just, I just didn't like the way it functioned. So I uh, got rid of that and I bought the... Harbor Freight has a little kind of pistol shaped one for like seven dollars. Um, and I actually liked that one pretty well. I used that one quite a bit. It, see, it was very nice ergonomically. And the only thing I really didn't like about that one was there was no torque limit. Um, so I used that and used that, used that, and finally got rid of it. Um, then I started using a big uh, uh, cordless uh, drill, a, a uh, DeWalt uh, cordless drill, but that was too big and heavy. Uh, then I got a quarter inch impact driver for the DeWalt battery system and uh, that one's pretty nice. It's smaller. It works pretty good. Um, you can control it really really slow even though it doesn't have um, torque limit. Uh, you can control it really slow so it's hard to get in trouble with it unless you really crank on it. Um, lately I've seen some ads for a, a Bosch, a new Bosch cordless drill and it looked really nice on paper. It was, uh, again, it was um, screwdriver shaped, um, quarter inch bits, and it had torque limiting adjustment on the back. So I had a little thumb wheel and it had electronic current limiting for the, for the motor. And uh, so I, I read up about it and I listened to a bunch of reviews, read a bunch of reviews. Well, the torque limiting only adjusts between 2.5 and 5 Newton meters or something like that. And it wasn't a very large range. And they said even at the lowest setting, it's still really, really torquey. So it's more for putting, like, wood screws into wood, things like that. And I wanted something that was good for, like, delicate things. And then I saw a review for this one. And uh, half of the reviews say it's a piece of junk. Don't ever buy it. But those are the people who really need the big high-torque quarter-inch ones. But the people who got this for what it was intended for, which is like little tiny screws, really liked it. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, price was right. Um, so you can see here it's called uh, General Brand, eh, kind of a no-name brand. Um, cordless Precision Screwdriver. See, it's precise. Um, and uh, it's, they have it being used here on like a computer or a cell phone or something, right? So it's, t it's kind of meant for tiny tiny little screws, which is what I wanted it for. So, let's open it up. And we'll take out the parts inside. Alright, this is what it comes with. Uh, some stuff on the back, but we don't need to read that. Okay, so we got some batteries. And they're AAA. I thought they were going to be double A, so they're AAA, so it's smaller than I thought it was going to be. And it comes with some extra bits. And these are the 1 8 inch bits, okay? So that's another negative thing a lot of people wrote reviews on saying, well, I can't buy any quarter inch uh, eighth inch bits, and it doesn't come with very many. It only comes with, uh, uh, let's see. It only comes with uh, number zero and number one Phillips, a 16th or an eighth uh, flat, and a T5 or T6 torque. So not a large, not a large selection. And so one guy said he really liked it, but he would have to give it a negative review because he just couldn't find one eighth inch bits. And then he said, at the very last second, he said, I take it all back. He says, now I can give it a great review. Because he went to Harbor Freight, and Harbor Freight has a, uh, a, 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 it's not electric, it's just a regular screwdriver, but it has the one eighth inch bits. And it's, I think, 34 bit selection. I think it's around seven dollars. You can get, so you can get thirty-four bits um, uh, with uh, uh, over at Harbor Freight. Um, so that's good. Um, well, one of the reasons that I bought this oh, in front of the camera here. One of the reasons that I bought this was I had this. Uh, so this is something that I bought quite a while ago. It's a Pros Kit. Pros Kit's pretty good. It's a Chinese brand, but they're they're reasonable quality. 
And it's a big set of 1 8 inch bits. Um, and it has uh, lots and lots and lots of different kinds. Very high quality. Uh, comes with a nice uh, kind of a precision screwdriver. It has a, a little uh, a swivel top, right? Really, really nice. I thought I would use it quite a bit. And it has an extension and all, all kinds of good stuff. Um, unfortunately, um, I just end up using these um, these Wea Wea tools. The, they seem to be better in the hand, and I got a I've got a huge selection of those, so I don't get much use out of this thing. But I but I did have it, um, so I thought, okay, well, if I get this thing, I know I've got bits to use. Um, so if I like this, I'm all set, and I've already spent the money on this, so I don't have to go buy it. So okay, so that's good news. So let's take a look at this thing. Um, Oh, it has a uh, screw end, and I guess we'll put the batteries in like a flashlight. Uh, all right, and oh, well, that's one thing I don't like already. So in order to make it go, you have to slide the switch forward or slide the switch backwards. I was kind of hoping you'd press on them. Uh, so when you put it down, kind of like a solder iron, you just press on it, but I guess you kind of have to push it forward, which which I guess is okay if you're taking something, uh, putting a screw in, because you're kind of adding a downward pressure to it. Oh, that's the, the, other, the other bad thing about that Bosch design. If you buy one of those Bosch uh, um, quarter-inch electric screwdrivers, they only work if you push, which I really don't like. I like the ones with buttons. Anyway, but it seems to have... Seems to have a reasonable amount of torque for uh, for some AAA batteries. Yeah, pretty nice. Um, again, we'll have to find something. Else. I'll have to search around for something with screws in it so we can try this thing out. Um, yeah, these aren't very good. I wouldn't say these are high quality bits. I'd say these are pretty low quality bits. So if you do end up liking one of these, I'd say go invest in some better uh, some better bits. Uh, this Pro Kit here is an SD9808N, uh, 58 pieces, and uh, these are uh, these bits are actually really nice quality. Um, so, all right, let me find. Well, here, here's a here's a couple screws. Uh, let's put the big let's put the big uh, Phillips in it, and let's see if we can get this screw out. So how do I hold it? Oh, there we go. That's so it's slow, but that's exactly what I want. I don't want to have it very, very fast. I just want to keep myself from having to screw a screwdriver. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can put it, put it back in. So there is no torque limit, it kind of twisted it in my hand, but I could feel it starting to get tight, so I could have let up on it, I didn't. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't think I'll really have a good uh, view of this unless I've used it uh, on a real project where, uh, where I really care. Um, I, may, I may start to believe that it's way too slow. Um, and I may really start to hate the switch on it. But anyway, I was in mood for a new toy. Um, so it was uh, less than $20, uh, which is one of the reasons I bought it, because if it's less than 20 bucks, I don't think too hard about it. <laughs> and uh, I have been, like I said, I have been looking for uh, about a couple of years now for a, uh, a small screwdriver. So we'll see if it just ends up being like all the other ones I bought that goes in the trash can or, or end up using it. Anyway, hope you enjoy that.